Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters that are watching me. It's a great opportunity to, you know, to come to you and to speak to you. Uh, this is a very wonderful time that we are having as we prepare ourselves for our Christmas. We are taking care of children. Some of these children are orphans. Some of them, they have parents, but they are unable. We picked these children from different places of Kenya and brought them, built a home for them, and also built a school for them. Because that is the way that we can extend our love to the community. Because the church is supposed to be part of the solutions of the problems that are taking place in the nation. And so uh, we have children that we, we have taken in, we give them food, give them accommodation and take care of all their needs. More importantly, we've taken them back to school. Some of them are dropped out of school, some of them are in university, others are in secondary schools, others are in primary schools. And during this festive season, child of God, I just want to encourage you to make a difference in the life of a child by giving an offering of a thousand, a thousand five hundred shillings or two thousand, as the Lord is going to lead you to bring joy, to extend love, because Christmas is all about love. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. It was because of love that Jesus Christ came, you know. So God wants to use you as a channel of blessing to bring joy to a child. And this would also help us to pay their school fees as they go back to school next year in January. So uh, the numbers are on the screen. Please uh, send the money so that we can make a difference in the life of the children. You can see in the background that is the school and the home that we have built for the children and that God has been doing a major, powerful, transformative work in the lives of these children. You know, some of the children, uh, when we picked them, they were rejected, they were hopeless, they had no sense of direction in their lives and now God is making greatness out of these children as these children are the future leaders of the nation. The Bible says that he who gives to the poor lends to God. So, uh, child of God, let's extend our love. Uh, may God greatly bless you as you partner uh, with us to extend the love of God to these blessed children. Thank you so much. Shalom. I also would like to take this opportunity to welcome you for our 31st Nation Shaking Kesha that is going to be taking place at Explex Worship Center on Mombasa Road uh, right after Nyayo Stadium Roundabout. As you continue on Mombasa Road, you will pass the, that petrol station shell. Then after that, there is Mantrak. And immediately after Mantrak, you're going to see a white tent uh, on your left on Mombasa Road, on that road that is called Shimo Latema Road. We're just there on the road, you'll see that tent. We're going to be there. The Kesha is beginning, or the overnight prayer meeting, is beginning at 6 o'clock in the evening. Why are we praying from 6? Because we want to use one hour to pray, pro prophetically pray for every month of 2017. So, it's going to be very, very, very powerful time. The Lord has already spoken to me about the theme for next year. The Lord spoke to me and he told me that next year, 2017, is going to be the year of possessing our possessions. You will possess your land. You will possess your marriage. You will possess your breakthrough. I mean, whatever the, 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 the heaven has, uh, God has ordained for you, God is releasing power and the capacity to possess your promised land. I feel very strongly many people are going to buy land and possess land and possess houses in, in, in 2017. It is going to be a, a, a different year. So I am inviting you to come 
for that nation shaking Kesha where we are going to have powerful praise and worship, powerful message. I'm going to be releasing the anointing of possession on that very day and more details on what God has spoken to me concerning the year at 2017. Every year we have these cases, people come and they get miracles and people are going to be giving testimonies of what the Lord has done in their lives. It's an atmosphere that you cannot afford to miss. The anointing of prayer and the presence of God that is going to be in that meeting will never live your life the same. And in the same way, we are going to be beginning our first 40 days of prayer and fasting uh, beginning on the 3rd of, um, of January. And we are launching it on the third at the same venue at six o'clock uh, at five o'clock in the evening and um, the theme for the fasting is triggering a new wave you know the Lord has spoken to me he spoke to me recently I was in Canada and he told me that this fast call it triggering a tsunami wave because you know some of you, you've been wondering in your lives, why is it that things used to happen in my life, but things no longer happen? I want to tell you that the Spirit of God moves in waves. Now, a wave usually begins in the surface of the ocean, in the deep waters, when the wind meets with the water. And the wave will begin to travel, and it will travel thousands of miles without even being seen at times until it, it arrives at the seashore so this fast you know is a fast where we are going to trigger a new wave that is going to release new power new miracles new testimonies and this tsunami wave is going to bring down every yoke and every curse and every power of darkness that has been fighting against your destiny 2017 is a very very crucial year for your life because it is also going to be a year of perfection in your life because number seven is a number of perfection so child of god join us i'm going to be praying for people anointing them releasing special grace for fasting and we are going to go for those 40 days and we are going to see hiv getting healed cancers getting healed every kind of sickness and infirmity getting healed the bondage is broken from people's lives because of the power that is going to be released in that new wave so uh we are going to be having people camping at the venue sleeping there day and night praying for this nation and also praying for our personal things remember that 2017 is the year when we are going to have elections and we don't want to see bloodshed in this country and it is not going to happen we are going to pray for the country believing god that this election is going to be peaceful so uh child of god come and join us i want you to remember that you are destiny the devil all the spiritual warfare that you're facing in your life is all about the destiny that god has prepared for you nobody is going to fight for you you have to fight your own battles you know and that's why you have to arise you cannot sit back and say Ni meshindo na maisha. things are so difficult things are so hard for me that one does not help it is time to say enough is enough so i look forward to seeing you there and uh god is going to release powerful prophetic words see you i love you god bless you and remember, the future belongs to the intercessors. Bye-bye. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters that are watching me. Uh, I bring you seasonal greetings. We are in December again, and Christmas is around the corner. And... Um, you know, Christmas is always very memorable for me because of uh, the memories where some of us grew up in the village. And uh, 
you know, one of the things that we remember about Christmas was a time of eating so much meat and having people coming from cities, coming to visit us in the villages and so on. But anyway, uh, glory to God that now we understand a deeper uh, meaning of Christmas, you know. And uh, during this season, I'm going to be sharing with us messages that the Lord has deposited in my spirit on the reasons, the three major reasons why Jesus Christ came on earth. Uh, reason number one, Jesus Christ came to save us from sin. Before Jesus came, the kingdom of God was not operational on planet earth. He came to bring us the kingdom of God. And so we're going to be looking at those three major reasons. It is a powerful teaching that you cannot afford to, to miss watching. And the Lord will visit you and touch you greatly. So, let's get on to the first teaching where we are looking at the reason why Jesus came and we are looking at the first point which is he came to save us from sin. God bless you as you watch. main reasons why Jesus came. Why was Jesus manifested on earth? You know, that is going to be, I'm going to be teaching a series of messages. Let's read the word of God in the book of uh, Ephesians. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. It is called the kingdom of God. It's not your family. It's not your connections. It's not your education. Education is so important, but without the kingdom of God, you will not excel. It is all about the kingdom. Jesus came to bring us that kingdom. You come from a family of champions. Story after story. People that were failures. People that were homeless like David. David was homeless. David was homeless. He had no home to live in. He went to live in the cave of Adullam. He was a homeless man. He was in debt. And he became the king of Israel. Those are your brothers. Those are your sisters. The God of David is your God. So let's go back to point number one. Because the others, I'll speak more about them later. Jesus came. To save us from sin. Your greatest enemy has always been sin. Look at the book of Revelation chapter 5 and verse 9. The Bible says, And they sang a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals that are off. For thou was slain. And has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Because you see, Jesus came to redeem us. To redeem us from what? He came to redeem us from the slave market of the devil. That word redemption when you look at it from the Greek interpretation, it means paying the ransom. It means paying the full price. Huh? The, the word redemp redemption means, from the Greek, it is the word lutron, which means a redemptive price. Which speaks about paying the ransom in full. You 
and me were in the slave market of the devil because our God is legalistic. The devil is also legalistic. When Adam and Eve ate of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, they were cast out of the garden of Eden and they gave the authority that God had given them to the devil and they also sold their souls to the devil and the devil took over their lives and so they were in the slave market of the devil now for you to be able to understand and appreciate what redemption is for you you've got to study and read about the history of the slave trade you know slaves were dehumanized slaves used to be transported from Bagamoyo to Sierra Leone and then from Sierra Leone to different countries of the world and uh, you find that a cage that could maybe only carry about six people or five people they could put there about 16 of them and you know what you went to toilet in that same place and you ate food from that that place the slave master had authority over your life to kick you to beat you in fact when they, they bought slaves uh, you know what uh, 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 to, to test the, the the price of a slave was determined by the quality of your teeth so when the people came to buy you had to open your mouth you have good teeth more money some of us who don't have good teeth praise the lord uh, <laughs> we could have gone for a lower price and then the slave master was, you know, would come and slap you, kick you, pinch you. To do what? To see your attitude. When you were beaten, you were expected to smile and laugh and rejoice. Pa! Pa! <laughs> this is a good slave. Huh? Brothers and sisters. You need to have a good attitude. Attitude. Some of you, you are so powerful. You are too powerful. You're going to change nations. But attitude. Inakusumbua. Onakasirika 24-7. And you know, attitude can be known. So you, you carry an atmosphere of an attitude. You even take it to your office and you're expecting a promotion. You have an attitude towards your boss and you expect a promotion. Forget it. Some of you, ladies are afraid to marry you because the way you, your attitude, they think you're going to kick them like football. Have a positive attitude. Hallelujah. Some of you, you, you have a very negative attitude and negative atmosphere. Kila mahali on injia, it is just negativity. That's why people don't want to associate with you. You need to have the attitude of a lion. Lions are not bigger than buffaloes. They are not bigger than lions. I mean than, than elephants. But they have a conquering attitude. When lions see buffaloes, they don't begin to say, Ooh, angalia They see lunch. They see breakfast. They see dinner. The lion tells the buffalo, you are bigger than me, but I'm going to skin you and I'm going to eat you. Child of God, every mountain that you're having is an attitude mountain. If you have a positive attitude, you're going to conquer. You're going to conquer. So, before we got born again, we were all slaves in the slave market of the devil. What the devil needed to do, he did. He wanted to, you to be sick today, you fell sick. He wanted you to die today, you died. 
because you are in his market alikuwa anachinja kama anachinja kuku anybody that is not born again is in the slave market of the devil unless they have some intercessors that are praying for them listen to me the nation of kenya is what it is today because of the presence of the church because when we pray and we say that we are praying for all kenyans those prayers are even stopping premature deaths of people that are not born again because where there is prayer the devil can come but is restricted that's why jesus told peter satan has asked to sift you but i've prayed for you he sifted him but there was a restriction but when it came to judah iscariot there was no restriction because there was nobody to pray for him brothers and sisters jesus paid the full price and i know in spiritual dynamics garama inalipwa mara moja hallelujah i don't expect you to go back from where god has brought you from every level where god brings you from god shall never take you back from where he brought you from because he lifts you from glory to glory garama inalipwa mara moja sio mara mbili mara moja the bible says in the book of prophet nahum chapter 1 and verse 9 affliction shall not come back the second time hallelujah i am here to declare child of god god is going to take you from glory to glory you will never go back from where you have come from hallelujah you are going forward 2017 is gonna be better than 2016 in the name of jesus you don't pay the price twice you pay it once jesus paid the full price jesus will never go back to the cross where Germany. the man is enjoying in heaven have you seen him how he looks like have you seen him how he looks like i saw jesus i knew somebody i saw jesus in the morning i saw jesus at sasita satisa alikuwa na mimi Huh? Like my wife was telling me a very interesting thing of somebody who was calling somebody here and telling them, Hey, kuja ni kuchukue maali. Kule, mungu anapigiwa simu na nashika simu anaongea na wewe. <laughs> zaga, zaga. <laughs> Mungu anapigiwa nini? Na anashika simu na anaongea kwa simu ukisikia. But you people. Wanange. That is why some of you tunawaombea maisha ibadiliki. Because tunafukuza pepo tatu wanaenda kwa wale watu wanaongeza nane. Because if God can be given a telephone call and he picks the phone call and you also go to that prophet, you are foolish. You are too foolish. Because it means that you don't read your Bible. So, Jesus paid the what? The full price for your redemption. And so he removed you from the slave market of the devil you are no longer a property of the devil you are loyal property you belong to god you are a child of god oh my goodness am i talking to somebody here you are loyal property hallelujah you are anointed child of god you can the devil cannot attack you the way he wants to attack you because you are not in his market you are not in his slave when you were a slave of the devil the devil pushed you to sin and you sinned 
Why? Because you had no power to stop it. But today, because you are no longer in this market, you have been purchased out. You cannot sin. Sin can no longer have dominion over you. I believe that you have been greatly blessed uh, by watching these messages on why Jesus came. And so, if you want to give your life to Jesus, I want to pray with you. I want to give you an opportunity. Just repeat this prayer after me. And by faith, Christ will come in you. Jesus, I repent of all my sins. Today, I accept you with my heart. And with my mouth, I confess that I am born again. If you prayed that prayer, you are now born again. Get a good Bible teaching, believing church and be grounded. If you are in the city and around Nairobi, you can come and visit us at our church. The addresses are there uh, on the screen. I want to pray with those people. Uh, you know, everybody, you are sick, you are afflicted, you are oppressed, you are in pain. You're believing God to do something supernatural in your life. I want to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your people. I pray for the sick. I speak divine healing. I break every power of infirmity, every power of darkness, every power of the enemy. I crush it and I destroy it. I pray for that guy that has diabetes. Let there be healing. High blood pressure. Let there be healing. Cancer of the ovary. Let there be healing. I flush it out of your life. Pains in your body. Let there be healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for that lady that is barren, that is watching. Let there be breakthrough. Receive supernatural strength to conceive. In the month of January. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, I also pray for this People that are believing you for extraordinary, for doors, for openings, for breakthroughs, for restoration in marriages. Lord, let thy hand touch them. Let there be supernatural intervention, supernatural visitation, supernatural provision in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you and I bless you. And Lord, I pray for your people. Even as they travel to go for Christmas, protect them, watch over them. We pray for our nation, Kenya. There is not going to be any accident during this December time. I confound all demons and all powers from the gates of hell in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you because you're hearing my prayer. We are not going to have accidents on our roads. We are not going to have terrorism taking place in this season. I bind and confound every plan of terrorism against the nation of Kenya. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds and all other evil plans of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much for watching me. God bless you. We love you. Remember, the future belongs to the intercessors. Shalom.